What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. We're taking a look at another tweak that has been updated for iOS 10. It's an absolute must have on your device, in my opinion, I absolutely love this tweak. And it is Lock Glyph X. Like I said, it's been updated. Uh, so I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this tweak, but for those of you that haven't, it's definitely a very cool tweak. So basically what it does is it adds the Apple Pay fingerprint to your lock screen. That way, as you scan your fingerprints to unlock your device, uh, you get a really cool looking icon and you also get a really cool animation uh, that goes along with it. So I have mine set to, I think, pretty much default right now. As you guys can see, there's the uh, Apple Pay fingerprint. And as I scan my fingerprint, it has a really cool animation where it fills the fingerprint in, kind of like what it looks like when you, you know, um, assign fingerprints to your device. So a very cool looking animation. Uh, but I don't normally keep mine the way you guys saw it. I'll quickly change it. You can uh, change the theme of the lock glyph. And this goes off of themes that I've installed on my device. It's not a lock glyph specific theme. Uh, these came within certain themes that I have for like my icons and whatnot. I like using either the Boba Fett or the Stormtrooper just because that's kind of, you know, the theme of my device. I have a little bit of Star Wars mixed in it, into it. So I like using the Boba Fett. I'll leave the name of the themes I have installed on my device in case you guys want to get the same lock glyph theme. So there's the Boba Fett, and I think it looks really, really cool. It has that kind of glimmery uh, animation to it, as you guys can see. And then when we go to unlock, you can see the fingerprint kind of uh, animate in, which is really, really cool. So this is definitely an awesome looking tweak. So we're going to go through the settings here really quickly. Uh, first off, you have your enabled on off switch, so you can quickly disable the tweak if you don't want to use it. You also do have the option to have a sound. You can have uh, the default sound, or you can have the Apple Pay sound as well. I like to keep mine on none because I don't I don't like the sound of unlocking my device, uh, especially at night. You know, it's just kind of loud. So I keep mine set to none. But if you do want a sound, you do have that option. You have the ability to unlock immediately. Basically, what that does is, is as soon as your fingerprint is scanned and sensed it will just unlock your device it will skip the full animation basically it unlocks your device a little bit quicker so i like using that because i don't care for it to wait for the entire animation to finish uh, it's really not that big of a difference but it's just slightly faster uh, you also have some options here for failed unlock actions so if you use a wrong finger that isn't set up in your phone and you get that uh, failed you know message you'll get a little vibrate you'll get uh, the animation will shake the fingerprint so you, you know that you've input your fingerprint uh, incorrectly. So I like keeping those enabled. Uh, and then you do have music controls uh, options here for when your music controls on the lock screen are visible. You can hide the glyph. That's what I do. I like to keep it just totally not there when I'm listening to music. Uh, you can also move the glyph to the back. I, I like just hiding it. I think it looks the best. And then next up, uh, like you guys saw, we have appearance where you can change the look of it. Uh, I do have, you know, the themes, like I said, it's normally on the default Apple Pay fingerprint, but if you have certain themes, sometimes a theme will have different options for this. I like using, like I said, the Boba Fett or the Stormtrooper. I think it looks cool. Uh, you can change the position of the lock glyph as well. So if you want to move it up or down, you can do that. You have full color options of uh, the glyph color or the scanning color. So you can change those to any color you want. You don't have to have it as that gray and kind of white which is pretty much default, I believe. You can switch it to like blue and red or whatever color you want, which is pretty neat. Uh, you also do have uh, the ability to hide the press home to unlock text, which I like to use as well, like keeping that, keeping that hidden. Uh, if you want to change the text, you can do that as well by using custom text and then input your custom text on the bottom. So some cool options for the appearance. And then the last section here is for the animations. Uh, you can use a tick animation, use the shine animation, uh, use faster animation. Uh, you also have the ability to use alternate scanning animation or use alternate idle animation as well. So you can really adjust the animation to look any way you want. Or if you don't even want an animation, you can just disable all this. But I really like the animation. I think it's what uh, one of the things that makes it look really cool is when you can see your fingerprint actually scanning before it unlocks. I think that adds a really cool effect to your lock screen and that's that's pretty much it that's all there is to the tweak like i said it's definitely a very cool tweak to have on your device it makes your lock screen look just a little bit more cool in my opinion you got you know the icon down there scans your fingerprint unlocks your device just a very cool looking effect 
Uh, I think that this is something Apple should do is have that fingerprint scan there. I just think it looks cool. It's what you're doing. You know, you're scanning your fingerprint, so why not have it there? Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review of Lock Glyph X. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. Also, I'll leave all the tweak information uh, in the description, so be sure to check that out if you want to download and install it. Uh, but anyways, if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.